Hey everyone, I uh, just want to go through a video where I want to demonstrate uh, a scenario where I have a Kubernetes cluster and I have an Azure Key Vault with a, a secret. Okay, and in this demo, um, we have the Azure Key Vault uh, provider for secret store CSI driver already uh, installed and deployed, and that's through a uh, an add-on. And also this add-on has the auto rotation enabled, right? So it will look for uh, changes in the secret for pods that are mounted, uh, volume mounted. In this, I have a, my own little demo, key vault demo namespace, right? And I deploy a, a Kubernetes pod uh, that has a volume uh, mounted, right? The secret that's mounted as a volume. Okay, and also I need to have a secret provider, uh, which is a part of the uh, the key vault provider, which sets up the volume mounting. And also uh, by doing that that mounting, you can have a Kubernetes secret created, which will create set up an environment variable in your pod, all right, that can access it. So. Setting the stage, what I want to achieve here is the scenario where, well, what if the secret is updated? Um, how will that be reflected in the Kubernetes pod? So one thing to note is that the this, uh, Kubernetes secret is not updated automatically. And so how do we do that, right? How do we achieve that? And so there's this, this is the uh, snippet as part of the pod where you want to uh, mount the volume and also um, set up the uh, environment variable to that uh, Kubernetes uh, secret. So what we need here is the open source you know, uh, tool uh, called Reloader. And what that does, it watches for changes in a config map or a secret in this case, and do rolling upgrades to the pods that are associated with um, uh, Kubernetes deployments. Uh, it can also be for stateful sets. So again, to recap is, how do we have a seamless update of the uh, environment variable in your pod when one updates the secret in Key Vault? Okay, so now uh, I would like to kind of go through uh, implementation of configuring uh, Kubernetes pod and uh, using the Azure Key Vault provider for the secret uh, CSI driver. Okay, here's my Kubernetes cluster. I, my demo is in the Key Vault demo namespace. And here is my secret. Uh, in the key vault. So this one, we're going to be focusing on the example secret. Okay. As you can see, the value is right now, current value is secret uh, 14. And I'm here, uh, I'll have the link to this, my file, the script in my uh, GitHub repo. So let's um, go through and set up these variables. So here um, we have the demo. Uh, namespace, okay, uh, that namespace already exists, and we want to set the con current namespace context here. And so the first piece of having, um, you know, uh, auto updates or rotation of your uh, secrets in Key Vault to your um, mounted pods is this command right here, right, uh, for this uh, enabling this add-on. In in order in addition to add enabling this add-on, uh, this requires these uh, parameters right here: enable secret rotation and a rotation poll interval. For me, I just for this demo, just setting up as one minute, but the default is two minutes. Okay, um, this Azure CLI command here will just show the current value of my example secret, here's secret 14, and this command will update uh, or add a new version or update the value of that secret. Uh, we'll return to this later. So here's a Kubernetes manifest uh, for a Kubernetes deployment uh, that will uh, deploy a one replica 
uh, for a, um, a pod uh, using the BusyBox uh, container image. And that will kind of mount the secret as a file volume and also uh, set up uh, environment variable, right? And this will create also a uh, Kubernetes secret. And this section right here, volume, will leverage the uh, uh, secret provider class um, that I've uh, also configured uh, separately that will use that to help with that integration from the uh, given key vault to this particular pod. So let's, let me highlight that, run this YAML. So as you see here, it's been created. And I may have already created this, but this uh, secret provider class, okay, and this is coming from the uh, add-on for the uh, key vault provider. Uh, for uh, secret store CSI driver and so I'm going to deploy it into the my key vault demo namespace and all it's pretty much doing is you know you, you know you set the uh, key vault name and the uh, in this case I use the user shine identity that has uh, read access to the key vault and uh, the get permissions for secrets and so here uh, what we want to do is you know uh, create an object uh, to, for that uh, secret we have in the key vault and to create a Kubernetes uh, secret out of that as well. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see if uh, just run this. Okay, uh, so yeah, I've run that before already. So that's unchanged. So here um, we can do QCL to describe kind of uh, described kind of the YAML from there. And let's see here the uh, kubectl get secrets. And so we see that we do have uh, the Kubernetes deployment for the pod. We do have this uh, secret output right here. Now that's all set up. Let's run uh, commands well, within that uh, pod with kubectl exec. Let's see here. Let's, what are the, what's the pod name? Okay, I need to get the, the pod name and uh, set it to this uh, variable. And running this, we are doing an ls to the uh, mount path uh, for the, the the mount path. And so we have that this file, example secret. And to read the contents of the file, we can do a cat, and there we go, we have cat secret 14. And that was the value that I just shown in the Azure Key Vault. And then we can also do a print environment for the example secret. And so we have secret 14 as well. So now that pod, uh, when you deploy an application, can read uh, from either the environment variable or from the, uh, the file. What would happen if I were to update that secret value? So let's update it to kind of secret 15. Okay, now that's been updated. Now, keep in mind that uh, we have this uh, secret rotation enabled. So let's see that working in action. So if I go back to this command right here, see the content, still secret 14. So remember, there's that one minute polling interval. So, okay, having that run second time, we see that there's secret 15. Yes. Let's read the environment variable and that hasn't been updated okay getting into the kind of the, the main uh, objective in this demonstration is to show okay well how do we set up this such that the environment variable is also uh, updated so the manual way is to do kubectl rollout restart but to do it more kind of automated fashion, uh, we need to install this GitHub project uh, code called uh, Reloader. You can find it at uh, this link right here and uh, documentation with it. So 
I, I my preference is to deploy it uh, through uh, Helm Helm the Helm chart. Uh, let's update the uh, chart repository that would include that. I already had that, and so Helm install uh, uh, stakeater slash reloader. So so that if you see here uh, has been uh, deployed. Awesome. So you can kubectl get deployments. And so we can see that the reloader uh, deployment has been deployed and it is running. Now, if we were to go back and just, just check on the value of the environment variable, okay, right here, um, it will not be updated, still not updated, okay. So, but let's go ahead and update this to, let's say, 16, okay. And so the reloader is now kind of watching for changes, right, and will update the environment variable accordingly. So I ran 16 to the value 16, and let's do kubectl get pods and watch. And okay, so that reloader is has terminated the uh, the pod and the Kubernetes deployment, and is now kind of recreating it. To me, it looks like it's just doing a uh, rollout restart of that, and so now it's running. So Control C. Okay, let's get this one. Actually, let me run this again. Okay, so now it's fully terminated, and this is the new uh, pod name. Let me copy that and set the variable right here. Okay, run that and we see here that the new value of secret 16 has been updated but with the reloader we can see that that has updated the uh, kubernetes secret in the pod so there you have it um, i've gone through a end-to-end -end walkthrough of how to update you know secrets uh, that were updated in Azure Key Vault that are, number one, um, mounted as a file in the pod and as a environment variable. So uh, thanks for watching.